covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. On Thursday, another 60 SpaceX satellites were launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida to join the rest of the Starlink fleet. In just the last month, there have been three successful launches and deployments, making SpaceX the largest fleet of satellites in the world, with more than 700 currently in orbit. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk wants to create a constellation made up of thousands of Starlink satellites that can offer high-speed internet anywhere on the planet. In March, Musk said that at the, he said at the Satellite 2020 conference, the world seems to have an insatiable appetite for bandwidth. We're certainly happy to launch other satellites. If our appetite for bandwidth was insatiable before a global pandemic, we're even hungrier now. The plan is to ultimately create an interconnected network of about 12,000 small satellites in low orbit around Earth. Using a small dish, customers will be able to connect and get fast internet speeds, with rural and tough-to-reach areas being the primary market. SpaceX recently said it's building about 120 satellites a month. Astronomers are concerned the extra points of light will make it harder to observe the night sky. Analyst Carmi Levy says, They're trying to look at things far away in the cosmos, and you have all these pesky little satellites orbiting in front of them, causing streaks across their imaging. SpaceX has responded to the concerns by modifying its satellites to make them less reflective. The company hopes to use Starlink Internet as a way to fund the company's version of or vision of going to the moon and to Mars. SpaceX says the service will first be available in the U.S. and parts of Canada. Public trials are expected to take place later this year. They said Friday that Starlink has already seen extraordinary demand from potential customers, with nearly 700,000 individuals across the United States alone indicating they are interested in the coming service. Thank you.